My name is Tarek Pascual. I am a behavior neurologist at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center and associate professor of psychiatry and neurologist at the University of Pittsburgh. My name is Suzanne Baker, and I am a staff scientist and head of cellular and tissue imaging at Lawrence Berkeley National Lab. Alzheimer's disease is a devastating condition that affects directly or indirectly the life of millions of people. And uh, our approach here uh, with the HEAD study is to develop our research as fast as possible because we know that uh, here time is essential. The HEAD study took its current form in 2020 when Derek Pascal and Suzanne Baker put their heads together and really design uh, what hopefully will be a definitive study. The HEAD study is the largest head-to-head -head study of PET uh, tracers ever performed. And our approach is unique in the sense that you are scanning the same patient with multiple PET tracers in the same visit. This is the only way that you can harmonize the PET tracers to the same scale. Dark. Pascal and I are great partners in this project because he was obsessed with MK6240, I was obsessed with Flortalsapir, and we're primarily comparing those two tau pet tracers, but in addition, a few others in, these, in this head-to-head -head project. We want to uh, develop new biomarkers capable to support the development of new drugs and also capable of support the identification of patients eligible to these new drugs in clinical trials and clinical practice without delay. One of the complexities of this situation is that there's more than one PET scan uh, method to make the biomarker measurements. And so if this is going to be translated to the clinic on a wide scale, we have to be able to convert our measurements from one kind of PET tracer for the other. You know, it, 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 it would be almost as if, if you went to a laboratory to get your blood glucose measured. Laboratory A gave it to you on one scale, and laboratory B gave it to you on another scale. That would be really hard to, to use, right? We, need, we know that a fasting blood glucose of 100, it doesn't matter what lab it is, has the same meaning. And that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to come up with numerical values that are translatable and, and scalable across laboratories. Me and Bill Jagist, we kind of became the grandfather mentors. We contributed some infrastructure and some advice, some of which might have even been taken. A multi-site study isn't easy to run. It takes uh, multiple skills, uh, not all of which are scientific, and they've pulled it off uh, and pulled it off well. The novelty of the HEAD study is that it involves sites from US, Canada, and Europe, and we are the largest data set of head-to-head -head TauPET tracers uh, across the world. Our research teams across all of our different sites have dedicated a tremendous effort into ensuring that we have a diverse representative sample. Uh, and this diversity is tremendously important both for our data and our resulting findings in the HEAD study. One of the biggest challenges for me is that we are having many images coming from different sites. So this way we are processing all these images together and we need to make sure that all the protocols are being met. And this way we are having good results so we can use these images for uh, the harmonization scale. So here in the lab, we have people with multiple backgrounds. We have computer scientists, we have biomedical scientists, and we have clinicians. We work together to analyze tau -pet data to further discover relationships between the different tracers and Alzheimer's disease and to make an impact on patients' lives. An important upcoming milestone in the HEAD study is the completion of baseline or cross-sectional data collection, which we are aiming to complete uh, by the end of 2024. In addition, with the collection of all of our cross-sectional blood samples, we aim to measure blood-based biomarkers uh, in the HEAD study participants so far and assess the associations of these blood-based biomarkers with our tau -pet tracer estimates uh, in the coming year. We are right where we want to be. We're um, really moving full steam ahead, and the data is more interesting than I thought it would be. The National Institute of Aging also plays a big role in our study, providing a large amount of grant support for us and for the other sites of this study. 
we envision that our study will gonna evolve to the validation of several new different proteinopathies and technologies. And uh, the validation on the harmonization of tau PET is only the first step. The entire goal of the study is for the betterment of the field as a whole. It's what we're supposed to do with research is that we come together, we work collaboratively. It's not about egos, it's not about names, it's about helping people and making advances for science. And they've done just a fantastic job to set up the model for the study to do that.